After the refusal of France, Russia and Sweden to take part in Project 75i, the Defence Ministry has cleared key changes in the Project 75i tender, especially in the context of liability. Under the previous proposal, the Indian firm would own the majority stake, but the foreign partner was responsible in case of quality issues or any delay in the implementation of project. The foreign companies had sought tweaking of the strategic partnership as well as removal of the clause for a sea-proven AIP system, but the Defence Ministry has made no changes to the crucial requirement, because the Navy cannot go ahead with the project without a sea-proven AIP system. The request for proposal for the Indian Air Force's $20 billion MRFA project will be issued by the end of 2022, and Dassault Aviation's offer of Rafale F4.1 standard fighter jet is seen as the leading contender, due to past order of 36 Rafale aircraft. Eurofighter Consortium will offer its Eurofighter Typhoon Tranche 5, and it plans to undercut the Rafale offer in terms of flyaway cost which might force Dassault Aviation to reduce the price of Rafale aircraft. Industry officials have said that the bid of Eurofighter will be 30% less than Dassault Aviation, and Eurofighter Consortium is confident that it will clear the technical bid, but it expects some challenges from the F-15EX. The winner of the MRFA will be decided on the cost of the aircraft, rather than political considerations that might influence the decision. The Indian Army has started talks with the DRDO, for the development of a long-range rocket system, as the 100 km range guided Pinnaker rocket is way less than the 300 km range PHL-3 deployed by China near the line of actual control. Talks for the development of a new Pinnaker Mark III variant with a very long range of 250 km are being held, and it is expected that the final configuration will be finalized soon, leading to sanctioning of the program. It will be developed in a mission mode, and the first rocket in production ready configuration will be available for developmental trials by end of 2024. As INS Vikrant is all set to be commissioned on 2nd September, the Indian Navy has made it clear that it will soon decide on the purchase of 26 new carrier borne fighter jets. The Vice Chief of the Indian Navy has said, that the F-A-18 is competing against the Rafale Marine for 26 new carrier-borne fighter jet steel, but the selected aircraft will only be an interim arrangement, until the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter gets ready. The Vice Chief also said, that the TED-BF will take about 5 to 7 years for its first flight. Any future plans of purchasing additional carrier-borne fighter jet will depend on how the TED-BF timelines are met by the developers. The RDO's Advanced Systems Laboratory has issued a tender for building five units of 9-litre propellant tank, that will be made up of titanium alloy, which will be used in thruster control system of the VEDA. The VEDA will be ready by early 2024, and it will be used to put military satellites into orbit on short notice, in case of sabotage of present Indian satellites by enemies' anti-satellite weapons. Tanzanian Media has reported, that Tanzania is interested to replace its obsolete military equipments with Indian developed systems. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh held bilateral talks with the Tanzanian Defence Minister today to discuss defence cooperation, and the Tanzanian Defence Minister will also meet with representatives from the Indian defence industries, such as Ordnance Factory Maidak Bharat Dynamics Limited and Zen Technologies Limited. The Indian Air Force's Su-30 fighter jets took part in multiple missions with the participating air forces in the first phase of exercise Pitch Black 2022 in Australia. Various situations were simulated using different platforms, as well as practice of BVR tactics, and it also included exchange of best practices with the participating air forces. That's it.